Not for the most part. I'm not disrespectful. You are as hell. I'm you actually, man, hell. I'm, I'm probably the most level out of the two when it comes to, like, respect and... Out of the two of us? Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to give you that, yo, because people hate me. <laughs> people hate me for no fucking reason, yo. <laughs> People just love to hate me. I don't yeah, understand I it, man. I mean, I understand I, it. I mean, my... Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. I mean, you... Not an easy friend to have. I mind my fucking business, yo. That's all I do. I mean, can we really say we mind our business? Especially now that we do this fucking podcast shit. Is this still my motherfucking business? <laughs> my I mean, music actually, opinions do not reflect the thoughts of the BYOB podcast. Yeah, Isn't actually, shit, um, it kind of is our business, I guess, because we got to research the shit that have content. So, and at the end of the day, it's just my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, you should switch the mic from this side to this side. I guess that would make sense, being that you were sitting on that side of me. I'm so used to we switch I know. places today. We switch. This is weird. We switch. Oh, yeah, you, you can introduce while I was picking this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna let the awkward shit keep going. Yeah, yeah that's usually how it goes. <laughs> we back another week. BYOB is your host, regular Ja. What's up, man? I go by the name of Eighty Proof. Yeah, man. We. We are B O I O B the podcast. B how many letters did I say? A lot. <laughs> Snake gave you the periods in between too. Bring your own bias, man. That's what we like to do. Yeah. That's what we like to do. It was a rough day for me today, man. It's always a rough day. It's always day a rough fucking day for me, man. All I did was I bought my own bias. Yeah. I got on Twitter and I said, I prefer women who are small up top, big down bottom. <laughs> That's it. Kanye said it. Yeah. She got an ass that can swallow up a G string. And up top, two, two B strings. strings. That's, all I, that's all I was saying. I don't need you to have a lot of titties. Yeah. So, n- yeah, niggas can't state their preferences no I more. Have, so, apparently, because I'm, I'm a big nigga, I can't have a preference. I mean, I know I lost mad weight and shit, though, but you I, I mean. That out. You you're so light skinned for that <laughs> shit. There's some light skinned people shit. I mean, I, I, I lost weight, so. I'm nah, not what I was going to say is. I, one of you big I was no actually going to piggyback off the point. Like, yo, I mean, when I was a big nigga, it ain't stop nothing. Like, it, they, they might have loved me more. That shit is wild. And it was all, like, Lizzo looking bitches in my mentions that. No disrespect to Lizzo. But <laughs> it was just them body types that was in my mentions. Like, why are you. First of all, you don't even fit the preference. Second of all, it was just a preference. I didn't disrespect nobody. It was my preference. Like, that's what I like. Yeah, I noticed, though, on social media, everybody just wants to, um, they want to be that one. They want to They want to go in. Yeah. It's cloud cancel chasing. culture, man. <laughs> cloud chasing is a hell of yeah, a drug. Yeah, it's, it's cancel culture and all that bullshit. But I will let you know I flamed everybody up that came in my mentions because I had time. <laughs> <laughs> I had the fucking time. Y'all think I'm a smart ass just on this podcast. I'm a smart ass in real life, too. Yeah. <laughs> that shit does say. He is also a very hard friend to have. I'm, I'm an easy friend to have. I, I've been asking for a lot of favors lately. So, <laughs> yeah. That's that just wild. You can't have a fucking preference. Like, who who said that shit? That shit makes no fucking sense. So, like, if, I, if I'm a man and I like a woman with ass, does that mean that I have to have ass too? Like, that shit just. <laughs> Reading comprehension is at an all-time low. I'm just low. saying, like, I better not ever hear you. Exactly. Like, be like, yo, I got ass. That shit is gay. Like, <laughs> this is mad gay. Yeah, I mean, that shit, I don't know. It's just, I mean, we live in a, a weird fucking time, bro. Like, this is the weirdest time period that I've ever witnessed. People. And the time period is like, even with the time period that, like, we research, like, through history and shit. Yeah. People sensitive, man. Like, I thought it was weird that they was motherfucking um, drowning bitches because they thought they was witches and shit. Like, I think we might beat them. Yeah. <laughs> like, this era of humanity might beat that shit. It's wild. I don't understand. Can you what? imagine that, though? Like, you and your wife just chilling and a mob just come in the bitch and they door? just like, yo, your wife a witch. So we got, a, we, we got two choices. We can either drown her or we can set her on fire. And if she if she fucking survives either then she, one, yeah, then she's a witch. Then she's a witch. But if she don't, yeah, shit, my bad. <laughs> like, I mean, you gotta kill both of us, beef. That's my wife. Yeah, I'm coming in. But, I'm, I'm, I'm. 
Damn, one of you no guns and shit back then. Nope. So I don't know. Unless I knew you were a witch and I'd be like, well, bitch. You're... Nah, but think I'm about it though. Head. My wife a witch, like, I need her on my side yeah, anyway. That word. <laughs> like, that's wifey. I need I that's who I really need on my side. But um, yeah, man. Ain't really much happened in these last two weeks. No. Nah, not for real. Couple couple motherfucking I mean the Niners are still Undefeated. We can definitely talk football. My team won today, so <laughs> we can start with sports this week. Yeah, the Niners still undefeated. Y'all definitely look good, man. I was talking shit about y'all at the beginning of the year. Everybody was. Good. Everybody was. Y'all look good. That New England Patriots defense though is retarded. Yeah, but our offense, I think we'll see that shit. But yep. they offense can't fuck with our defense. That's the thing. It's time Brady. Fuck with they got Brady, but his front line, we we collapse in that pocket every motherfucking chance. Yeah. It's a good football season so far. Like dog and. Even though we smoked them, like nigga, the Panthers won't know. That ain't no slack ass no, no, team. No, no, no. They got a de- they got a good solid defense. Y'all they just gave up ball. after a certain point. That's any team though, except the fucking Patriots. Them niggas was yeah. down twenty eight to three and was like, nah, fuck this. Atlanta, y'all still suck for that. I'm gonna bring that shit up every chance I get. You should. I, these niggas had T-shirts printed out and everything. <laughs> they was they was ready to go. Light the city on fire. They was they was getting the motherfucking. Uh, the floats together. Yeah. Like, they were putting them on the street for the parade and all that, that shit. That shit is dead. Put that shit Bruh. back. Put that shit back where you got it from. Um, Drew Brees came back today. He yeah, looked, he fucked my man. Looked like Drew Brees, too. <laughs> I had Teddy Bridgewater starting over Carson Wentz. Only because y'all play Buffalo. I mean, understandable. You know what I'm saying? And Buffalo been doing what yeah, they doing. You know what I'm saying? So, it was like, all right, Teddy Bridgewater, he playing Arizona. Like, from a fantasy standpoint, it's like, yo, that's a no-brainer. No, Arizona's trash. Yes, yes, they are. And they got smashed today, but they didn't get smashed by fucking Teddy Bridgewater. They got smashed by Drew Brees. He blew that one. He blew that one. Good, good day for football. And I would have got 14 points off of wins. Yeah, I mean, better than zero. Absolutely. And I got negative 7-2 for <laughs> Brid- How you? How they take points away from this nigga for just not playing? Oh, this shit foul. Oh, uh, NBA back. NBA season back. <coughs> yeah. And hmm. that Lakers shit is not looking like, no. like it do on no. paper. No. That Clippers shit do. Yeah. That Clippers I mean, they do. got smacked too, though. They just got smacked yesterday. The Clippers did? Yeah, they got smacked by uh, who the fuck they just played. I missed that. Yeah, pull that up. They just played. Um, I ain't going to say they got smacked, but I think they one and one right now. They no. just uh Clippers two and no. Because they beat I know they beat Golden State, which is tragic because they handed Golden State their yeah. last loss at Oracle. And I might have been looking at the wrong Oracle. shit. It's not surprising. Nah, yeah, they got beat by the Suns. I know I ain't no, tripping. They did get beat by the Suns. Yeah, so. I knew I won't fucking tripping, yeah. Two and one. Oh, Phoenix got them eight points. One thirty, one twenty two. That's which tough. I wouldn't have saw that shit coming. Nah. A lot of people lost money in Vegas behind that motherfucking sure. game. <laughs> sure about that. So. Yeah, NBA season back. My 76 is going. We're going to run the East this year. Okay the Pacers is not out the East, bro. Yeah, but the Pacers suck. They, without Ola Depot, they're not that good. We went further than y'all last year. No, you didn't. In my mind, we went further I'm than sure. y'all last year. Yeah, I'm sure. You had a Niners talk, but that pace of shit is. <laughs> nah, I mean, shit, we, we made it. We make the playoffs yeah, every yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a fact. <laughs> Definitely do make the, pace, the playoffs every year. We just don't do shit with it. <laughs> like, once we get. But I mean, in our defense, like, besides last year, the East was open, but we played, we played Toronto. You know what? I only know two. Pacers no, we played fans. Boston. That's who knocked us out. You say what? I only know two Pacers fans that don't live in Indiana, and it's you and my homegirl. Yeah, I mean, you know, my family and shit from out there, so. Oh, the country. It's, it's country, but that shit There's is. a lot of drugs it's, out it's, there. It's, so, um. <laughs> go, <laughs> next topic. <laughs> but, yeah, Oladipo back this season, though, so. He'll be back, he'll be back. So. If he can stay healthy, I think we I think it, I think we'll make the Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah, no. Um, if he stays healthy, I think we will. I'm looking forward to the NBA season, though, because ain't no real super teams like they've been. You know what I'm saying? So it should be a real good mix. Yeah, no, no it, it is. But I guess because there's so many that there is none anymore. 
Because there's so many super teams that it's like now every, they're just regular fucking teams. You need at least two superstars. You need at yeah. least two superstars and you a couple to back up. So, so I mean, it's it's, it's going to be interesting, though. Um, the East wide open. I don't think uh, Kyrie looking all right. I was in my early prediction, Kyrie might end up MVP the way he's been balling in, in if he If he keep that if shit up the, the rest like of the year, yeah. He might end up MVP in Brooklyn. If uh, if James Harden fucking uh, stop hitting himself in the face with the ball and that shit, that shit was hilarious. <laughs> but did you see how Josh <laughs> Hart looked at him when he yeah, hit himself? Yeah, like yo, Josh what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? Retarded. Yo, oh, he looked at him like he was retarded. By the way, retarded gets you banned on Twitter. Yeah, a lot of shit gets Apparently, you. Banned. Really. Yeah, you can't say, say a lot of shit no more. Saying these hoes are retarded. We get you <laughs> suspended for twelve hours. Yeah, you you definitely can't say that shit. You know, they also suspend. Let me up because random. They also suspended me for a ludicrous statement that I made. The girl. The fuck you say about ludicrous? It was not ludicrous. I'm just bullshit. <laughs> so, the girl. Niggas is dissing Luda? <laughs> in her attempt to be funny, was like, I'd be afraid of a big nigga because what if you roll over and smother me in the middle of the night? But she wasn't an attractive young lady. So. Would I, you say I might? No. <laughs> I told her that she wouldn't. I might like, just. That she wouldn't have to worry about that because she's only good enough to possibly suck my dick, but she definitely <laughs> couldn't spend the night. So, like, she got to leave afterwards. <laughs> I don't know. <understand. laughs> so, so, apparently, because I told her that she could suck my dick but not spend the night, Twitter decided that that was not nice. I mean, it wasn't. It wasn't supposed it to It was be. reactive, though. Yeah, it wasn't supposed <laughs> to be. It just, it I didn't think that that would get me suspended from Twitter. People say far worse things on Twitter. That's a fact. It was just a reactive uh, <laughs> statement. It was a true statement, though. Like, you couldn't spend the night at my house. You done let some... You, you spent the night with an unattractive junk before. Not since I was, like, 23. <laughs> like, it's been so Oh, years. after your joint year, you was yeah, like, yeah, fuck all yeah, this. Yeah, fuck all this bullshit. <laughs> you can't cuddle with everybody. No. Yo, so, uh... Oh! While we on NBA, before I forget, I want to speak on this mellow shit. Again? We never Mello's? spoke on it. Oh. About him being blackballed. Yeah, mellow blackballed. Like, it's... <sighs> I mean, we spoke off, like, yeah, yeah, off the yeah, shit, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Off record and shit, but... Nah, like... There's no way you telling me that... What is it, a hundred and... What, 22 players in the league or some shit like that? It's like, sounds all right. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. I don't. Yeah. I don't fucking count them. I just know. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so you mean to tell me is that many niggas that's better than Melo? Like he don't even got space on nobody's bench. He can't even go back to the Knicks. Nah, the Knicks definitely don't want him back. I don't. What know fucking why. choice do the Knicks really have? Melo is really he is blackball, but I don't know. Yeah, he's he's. A, I don't know why. Maybe his past attitude problems, or I don't know. Somebody did prevent him from getting a job, though. It's Lala. It's Lala. I, she couldn't get out of character. She was probably running in these gym offices like she was still Lakeisha and shit. And getting ass implants every week. Look, <laughs> I know what it is. He broke the card in the rule when we said black men don't cheat. So he, he cheated, supposedly, allegedly. He was on a boat with a client. Allegedly. And her husband was That's there. Like allegedly. Her, her husband was on the boat with them. Oh, yeah. I believe that, too. Um, <laughs> so I mean, that don't mean nothing because there's a lot of these rich niggas that just like they'll pay you to watch you fuck their wife. This so her husband could have been on the could have I mean, been I've on the heard book. about it, but it's still weird. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not to say that I wouldn't do it. Same it depends weird. on who the wife is. Yeah, there's nothing to do with him. That's still weird though. And how much they offer? It depends on how much money you offer. It's gonna cost you at least ten. So Will was like, "Yo, Jada." I want you to hit Jada. I got ten bands for you. Will can ask me to hit Jada for <laughs> <laughs> for a bottle of Hennessy. <laughs> and a That's why I had to, I had to put a neck. Nigga, yeah. Jada's still fine. Yeah. So they wouldn't even take nothing. <laughs> That's weird though. How did we even get there? With we That's was on the boat with the yeah. yeah. So nah, but nah, I definitely think he blackballed. <laughs> I definitely think they blackballed my man's like. It's Why? fucked up, man, because I like Melo. I like Melo, too. He, I mean, these jokes still going to fly. But I like Melo. Like, he's one of my favorite players. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, it's weird that 
You mean to tell me that a one-time All-Star, like he couldn't even make the Olympic team? Like he don't, he just no, there's no space for him at all. I mean, if we're being realistic, <laughs> that's all Melo really is good for the Olympic team. That nigga ain't won shit in his career other than Olympic medals, which yeah, don't really count for he shit. He won a scoring title before, maybe. No, he won. He I did. think he, I think he won like four scoring titles. No defensive titles is because he, he plays absolutely no fucking defense. No, he's not. He that's like him and Hart, and they them niggas is never. Gonna play defense. That's just not their thing. It is never gonna be their thing. Nigga told me years ago. Just watch James Harden. He gonna give you thirty points, but whoever he guarding will give you thirty points too. That shit is out of control. Yeah. Let's see. What is Melo won? I'm telling he, you, he he's a one-time scoring champion. Okay. And that's about it. He's been in the All Star game a couple of times, like ten. That's. Big. He's got like two gold medals. Everybody don't just make the All Star team, dog. Yeah, they do. <laughs> hey, they didn't have Kevin Hart playing the All Star game one year. That's for the celebrity yeah, branch of the shit. <laughs> <laughs> whatever. <laughs> That's for the celebrity branch of the shit. No, okay. He's going. He gonna play every year because it's fucking Kevin Hart. Like he, they just gonna let him do that. But yeah, uh, what else happened in sports? Oh, Wilder. Oh, saying he man. would he would knock Tyson out in Tyson's prime. Stupidity, man, is at an all time high. I like Wilder. Wilder can fight. Oh, let, me, let me say that. Let me take that back. Wilder can hit hard. Like he hit yeah. real hard. I mean, technically in the he, fight, that's all yeah. that matters. So he's learning how to box as yeah. his career goes along. So I see him getting better with that. But Mike Tyson in his prime, like he was an animal. He's exploiting all like, that literally shit. Literally telling dog. people he was to eat their children. He was an animal. Yeah. I mean, Lenny's Lewis knocked him the fuck out for that, though. Yeah, but still. <laughs> he just would have told him. Though. He meant it, though, when he, he said it. it. He so meant it, it was like, shit. niggas believed it when Tyson said it, because, you know what I'm saying? Tyson, that's just, that was believable coming yeah. from this nigga, especially since he was really biting the flesh off of humans in front of the world. Not only does Mike hit hard, but Mike actually knew how to box. Wow. Yeah. Well, it just, His yeah. footwork and all that shit was yeah. crazy. Like, I was watching this, uh, it was like a 15-minute like a video of just, him just doing different shit. And I was like, yo, this nigga, man. This is like, this shit is just unreal. This nigga was moving like a fucking, like a welterweight. Oh, yeah. But punching like a fucking heavyweight. He didn't, he, he wouldn't stand a chance against Mike. I'd give him seven, maybe eight rounds. And then Tyson gonna drop him. I don't know if it would have lasted that long. That's what I said, maybe. And Wild is one of my favorite fighters right now. Maybe. Second to Errol Sp- Errol Spence, my favorite fighter for, for just obvious reasons outside of him being a fucking monster. I like Canelo. Canelo got another fight coming up in like two weeks. Yeah. So that should be big. Actually, it might be next week. It is. It's next week. Next Saturday. GGG falling off a little bit. Yeah, he getting old. He got them. He going to decision and shit. I, I still want him to fight Pacquiao, but Pacquiao only want that Floyd fight. Pacquiao needs to give it up. He's not getting that Floyd fight. He looked good in his past couple fights, but he's not getting that Floyd but fight. But, no, it's all these fighters out here that could be potential money fights. Why are you calling out a nigga that's clearly retired? It makes no sense. I mean, it's mainly for the money. We all know that shit, but you go fight Spence. Go fight Canelo. Go fight one of them. That's a money fight. They gonna beat the dog shit out of Pacquiao. Are right, Roy Jones Jr. and Bernard Hopkins talking about fighting each other again? I don't want to see that shit at all. I don't want to see that, and I love boxing, bro. <laughs> I love like that's my favorite sport, but I, my nigga, I don't want to see that. You shit. You don't want to see Roy Jones versus Bernard, Hopkins. bro? You know what that shit gonna look like? You remember the movie Grumpy Old Men? That's remember where they got in that little scrap? Like that's what that shit. That shit gonna look just like that. That shit gonna be so terrible. <laughs> Last time we saw Bernard Hopkins, that nigga was hanging out the rim. Uh, out the rim? Oh, yeah. I ain't let no motherfucking white boy knock me out. Nigga, we... we he knocked that nigga out the out ring. Out the ring, clean. Like, that was some video ring. game shit. Like, niggas never seen no shit like that before. Like, how you let this nigga knock you between the ropes like you in fucking WWE? <laughs> <laughs> you be ashamed of yourself, man. Be high from Philly, so... I still don't want to see that shit either. No. Uh, B-Hop the type of nigga, I feel like he, I don't know why, but I feel like he has a pistol on him every fight. 
because he's from Philly. <laughs> it's possible. I don't know too many Philly niggas that go somewhere without the. Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> or the music. <laughs> or the music, or the music. We ain't getting no good music recently. <laughs> no, we didn't. We got Kanye album, but I ain't really listened to it too much yet. I liked a little bit of it that I did here. I did not listen to Ye's album. I'm undecided if I'm going to listen to Ye's album because I fuck with it. I fuck with Ye. And Ye usually puts out great music. I just don't know if I want to hear a whole gospel album from him. Unless that whole gospel album sounds like Jesus Walks in uh, Beautiful Morning. I know that's not the real name of the song, yeah, but yeah, yeah. what is it? Father Stretch My Hand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit is just too long to like, name a song. So the song's dope as a bitch, though. Yeah. And the crazy thing is... It really puts you in a good mood. Yeah. Maybe I might This shit comes that. on crazy. Like, you know, if I fuck this model, she just bleached the asshole. I get bleach on my t-shirt. <laughs> I'm going to feel like an asshole. I think it's two different songs, but yeah, they are. I thought that's. I thought that was Father Stretch My Hands Part One. You're the only power. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, but he said Life of Pablo was supposed to be a gospel album. I don't yeah. know where, but I mean, he started off with Chance the Rapper on it. That's why. Yeah, but then he got famous and shit. Like, is, is Chance the Rapper just not good to like, me? I, I'm not. I'm not a fan. I respect his. I respect his sound though. I just can't sonically. It just don't resonate with me yeah. sonically. Yeah, okay. So I won't call it trash. But I yeah, I ain't gonna say it's not trash. It's just like, like Anderson Pop. It's not for me. Yeah, he's definitely not for me. I can't really, I can't, you know what I'm saying? Like some of his shit I like, but most of his shit I don't. <laughs> Maybe I'm listening <laughs> to the wrong shit. So send me some Anderson Pop shit that might change my mind. Don't send it to me, because I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool with having my mind changed. Oh, no. Once I click the first song, if it's some shit I ain't like, I'm not going to click the rest. Yeah, so I guess shit. I would say the same with I'll Chance, but... i word for it. I would say the same with Chance, but... I don't know, man. My ears set different. I'm on, I'm on like, Gibbs and Currency yeah, yeah, and... Yeah. Like, outside of the legends and shit, you know what I'm saying? We really and then good. I like all the ratchet shit. I like like the baby and PB Longway and just all yeah. the just all the ratchet ass. These young niggas. Yeah. I really didn't like a lot of these young niggas. Some of them starting to grow on me. I definitely fuck with the baby. I think his last album, his production selection was terrible. But Somebody said that shit was just one long song, and the beat just changes in the middle of the song. <laughs> it was just bad, but I still fuck with the bull. Yeah, I fucks with him. I wonder who they're going to have in something in the water next year. Because something in the water tickets, they definitely did their pre-sale. Yeah, did you cop? I did not. I'm broke. I keep trying to tell y'all. Niggas don't listen to me. I mean... I saw you bought three VIP tickets. Whoa. Number one, I laid away one. I see you. I, peeped I put you one on layaway. I peeped it. I like, oh, you can put, you can put that shit on VIP layaway, right? Tickets. You can put tickets on layaway, right? Yeah, I don't know. Like payment plan? Yeah, well, that's what I did. I'm, yeah. I'm just making sure I won't get scammed. That's why I'm asking. I ain't. Yeah. So. Something in the water going to be dope, man. I can't wait. Yeah, hopefully we can get press passes. For real, what's up? Somebody. Somebody holler. send this to, to somebody important. Yeah, please. Get us some, some press passes and shit. But yeah, I mean, dog, the shit that's crazy is like, as dope as it's going to be, like, we should have just not had no more. That shit, it should have been, a, it should have just been that one festival, bro. Because you, how you going to top that shit? It's hard to do, man. Unless he has, like, like, Beyonce or Rihanna or somebody that like that to headline that shit, mm -hmm. it's going to be hard to top that shit. Yeah. Nigga bought Hove out. When the last time Hove been to Virginia? That's a very good question. As much as he raps about fucking Virginia. But when is the last time Hov been in Virginia? What, rock, I think it was it Rock the Mic? I think so. Like when he actually performed here, I think yeah. it was Rock the Mic? I, know it was, I think it was at the Coliseum. So that, yeah, that was because Rock the Mic was at the amphitheater. So it might have been, I know it ain't been since like 06. Oh, maybe 07, 08 or some shit like that. Yeah. It's been a while, but he definitely he, he fucked the city up with that shit. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be man. 
And I hope we keep that same energy of like no violence, no, no bullshit. Yeah, definitely don't want that, man. I'm glad. I'm glad the summertime is over. You start to see less violence happening. Yeah. I'm lying. Seven five seven is terrible. Yeah, this shit is horrible. <laughs> the Hampton Roads area of Virginia is not nice. Virginia Beach. Don't come here. Yeah, like, you got it marked as a, as a tourist place. It's not. Y'all it's should not. probably stop touring here. Like, <laughs> touristing. Whatever the fuck the word is, stop doing it here. <laughs> this shit is not. Because once you. Number one, our water's brown. Like, we don't even got pretty beach water. I don't understand why y'all want to come here to the beach and shit. And then outside of the beach, there's nothing to do. Unless you club and you a clubber. Nigga, you got to fly into Norfolk. Yeah. The airport is in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. That shit it's, is in Norfolk. It's, it's in Norfolk. <laughs> that shit is in the hood. <laughs> that shit is in the middle it's of Norfolk. you really want to fly into. It's not. It's, I mean, just yeah. my advice. I don't know. What else happened to music? Um, Literally nothing. Like I, I haven't seen anything good. I think Dave East dropped the track with Nas. It was fire. I only listened to it once, though. Which I feel like I did it a disservice by only listening to it once. I I heard it. I didn't listen to it, so I do need to go back and listen yeah. to it. So um, I ain't really seen nothing. Yo, they say um, they said something about Summer Walker had, like takes baths out of a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> she do bird baths. Like yo, she posted some shit, and it was like um, Summer Walker doing hoe baths. She said she hates showers, bro. That sounds awfully dirty. Bro, she's... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how she true her, that shit is. Her European shit? Was she black? So, like, that's... I mean, whatever. Yeah. I mean, I've seen it on a bunch of, like, non-credible sites, but most gossip shit be on the non-credible sites, and it be true. But I, I, I would hope not. But then they said she wiped her make off, wake up off with her spit one time, like on her live and <laughs> shit. So I don't know, bro. Like, like she was on her live, and I guess she, I don't know how to, you That's know, I don't. Wild. Yeah, they said she wiped her make off with her spit, bro. <laughs> so, I mean, whatever works for her. I don't even know what to say to that shit, whatever works for her. She can sing her ass off, though. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make dope music. That's all that matter. If you want a uh, funny video to look at, this is random comedy. This is a video on YouTube. Dude's name is Jay Swan. J A I S W A N. Mm -hmm. And the song is called I'm a Chooser. Yeah, I ain't never. I'm going to check that shit out. This is just random comedy. I got a feeling like it's ignorant as fuck. It is ignorant as hell. Because, I mean, you giving a suggestion, so I, you've never suggested some shit to me that wasn't ignorant as fuck. So you know me. <laughs> like, you'll also get a good laugh at it. Like the utmost, I love ignorance. Just long, yeah. <laughs> Entertaining ignorance, not yeah. Real life ignorance. Got to clarify for people. For sure. Just so clarify for people. Ignorance don't bother me much, unless people are doing ignorant shit to me, then I ain't really with it. <laughs> but yeah, yo, with her fucking spit though. It's like the shit your, your mom used to do when you used to get in the car early in the Come morning. Come here. And the corner uh, of your mouth and God. shit. Come on, man. Where your mouth been in, mom? Like, then I, you going to school and you just... <laughs> it's bad with your question. Come on, mom. Where your mouth been? It's like, stop. <laughs> and a lot of moms back then used to smoke heavy cigarettes. Mm -hmm. So you just going to school smelling like a fucking Newport, a smoked Newport. A thick saliva. And that shit... She done put it on the corner of your mouth and shit, so now you got them, they think you smoking before school and shit. Summer, I hope you take baths, baby. Like, <laughs> you too cute for that shit. Yeah. Just, they got, a lot, of, they got a lot of high-tech showers. You ain't even got to take long showers. Like, I'm cool with you just taking a five-minute shower. Just yeah. get in the shower. Or just take a three-minute shower before you take your bath. Just get the dirt off you. Just, Or at least specify. Yeah, clarify. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, motherfucking social media takes shit. They gonna run with it every time. Like, <laughs> Just say, I don't like taking baths, but I do. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of shit that I don't like doing that I do in life. But. Yeah, like, I fucking hate going to work. Yeah. I'm not gonna just not go. 
Pumping gas is top three annoying things ever. Like having yeah. to stop to get gas, that Bro, shit is fucking annoying. I ain't gonna lie to you. There's been times where, but I know I have to stop and get gas because I need to go places. So yeah, nah. There's like been times that I done been to a shit, and if it don't have an automatic like where it locks, I'm going to another gas station. Oh, you see, you keep giving away your little rich signals because real niggas cannot put the shit on there and just let that shit run. You fucking no, I watch it. Yeah. But number one, hold on, number one. I go inside and prepay. I need <laughs> ten on three. I need five on three. I ain't. I ain't put my tank on full probably since I got my car. <laughs> like I put my gas in as far as where I'm going. Hard to fill up a Denali. Um. <laughs> yeah, you don't got fucked up. <laughs> you don't got me fucked up once. So I use my credit card at the pump, right? But you know how they got the little TVs on the pump. So you watch the fucking yeah, watch TV it, and, and, the and they called me because it was sports. They put a little sports center clip. So I was just pumping gas, bitch. I meant to put like twelve dollars in because I was broke. That shit went up to like nineteen. <laughs> it was hurt. Nigga was mad. He couldn't go to McDonald's after he left the fuck. I was mad as a bit. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> called my bank and reported my car stolen. They ain't no, no fuck. They probably had a camera in that shit too. They was like, nah, he was here. He was look, here. look at this shit. <laughs> That nigga came right in here and did this shit on his own. Easily distracted. We had top stopping to get gas is trash. Yeah. Need to live in Jersey where they pump gas. Most shit that involves adulting is trash, period. Adulting is trash. Super trash, yo. Like I I mean, I'm telling you, man, I'm giving this shit a one star rating. Responsibility suck. This shit adulthood is the worst hood I've ever (laughs) stayed in. It's the worst hood ever. They stay in some bad places, but adulthood is yeah. worse. No, they say Compton is bad. That's a bad hood. They say like Southside Chicago is a bad hood. Ain't none of that shit worse than adulthood. You know <laughs> like Real adulthood life. is worse than all of them shits. Like that shit is terrible. Fuck that shit, man. Fuck this adulthood. Who the fuck decided this shit? I still hate Henry Ford because he's the motherfucker who came up with five days. Five day work weeks, yeah. like bitch. Who the fuck this nigga think he is to just decide, yo, y'all niggas should work eight hours every yeah. day for five days? He had a theory behind it, but I still think it's bullshit. Fuck his he theory. Could have cut that shit down to four. So we, every nigga with a theory, we just just follow them shits now? Have you seen social media? You right. <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Like, a lot of people gonna die, like, from just seeing what, they gonna the, drink the, Kool-Aid, seeing what the fuss they is. They gonna drink the fucking Kool-Aid. Well, let me know that was that Popeye's fiasco that happened. Mm-hmm. And the boondocks predicted that shit. Yeah, most people went just to see what the fuss is about. Oh, it's good, dog. I'm telling you. That's how the natural selection is going to happen. That shit is crazy. The only people that's going to make it is the woke people that don't, they too cool to follow the masses and shit. Like, what goes through y'all head when you feel like you just, you can't have your own opinion? <laughs> yeah, I hate that shit. What? I don't understand it. I was always told to be a leader, not a follower, man. Like, yeah. That's the thing, though. Think for yourself. No, and then, like, most of the people who open your think eyes. for themselves is only murderers in this, not in this room. What? <laughs> it's only murderers in this room. But, yeah, no, nah, they got them, I don't know, man. Social media gives people this weird-ass sense of purpose. And I don't understand that shit. I'm just on social media to like thirst traps and tell, talk shit to make people laugh. Man, that's it. That's all I want to do with life. That's it. That's all I want to do. Like thirst traps. I may jump in a DM or two. Maybe. It's, it's, it's rare. It's rare. It's rare as hell. <laughs> Fuck around, get a screenshot. I don't even give a shit. If I said be it, famous. I'm I stand, I stand to what I say. Oh, yeah. I don't care about it. I mean, yeah. if I say it, I say it. It is what it is. I stand behind it. I stand on it. Yeah, I, if I say some filthy shit, the bitch was just supposed to be for you. But. Yeah. Oh, Suge Knight, Ray J. He gave Ray J the rights to his life. Shit sounds weird as hell. I know, but that's how this shit has been worded. Wait a minute. Wait a that shit, how that's how that shit worded. So it's like, so he can make biopics, he can write books, biography, books, documentary, he can do all that. He at Ray his J. leisure. Fucking Ray J. Of all people, Ray J. He said he trusts his, his business mind. 
Ray J. That's what Suge said, man. Loving hip hop, Ray J. Brandy's brother. Oh, wait a minute, ain't that? Yeah. One wish. Maybe that was his one wish. <laughs> that shit was alright. Who you think he gonna get to play Suge and Suge? Yeah, get somebody off the wall like. If I had one him. wish, you would come play Suge. Like you think that's how he gonna propose it to him? Could you imagine if you had Forrest Whitaker playing Suge? Man, I don't know why that was in my head. I don't know why Forrest Whitaker. Maybe it's just the bald head, and I don't know. Forrest Whitaker ain't even bald, is he? I don't fucking know. I don't know what the fuck is. I know his fucking eyes bald. That shit lazy. <laughs> Fuck with Forrest Whitaker. That nigga, happened. that nigga, I don't get up and do no work. Used to. That nigga, I lazy as motherfucker. But Ray J, man, like. No, that I mean, that's what happens when you fucking literally burn bridges with everybody that you know. Yeah. Cause what friends do Shook have now? This is true. You done threatened to kill everybody or kill or, and, and kill everybody well, else that you, you didn't yeah. th- that you didn't threaten. So it's just like yo. Uh, you gotta rely on Ray J being your like your main source of. Ha- All right, we can't take that shit away from Ray J. He did make Kim K famous. He hit it first. The tape was that, that's that's kind of corny to say now, right? That ain't funny no more, right? Yeah. At the time, it was funny. Yeah, it's not funny no more though. No. Like niggas is gonna blank face me for saying that shit. <laughs> like, oh, he hit, oh, he hit it first. He's corny, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, oh, uh, <laughs> made Kim K famous though. So maybe I don't know. Maybe we'll wait and see. It's gonna. I don't know, man. It's gonna. It's gonna be interesting. But no, I mean, I think. I mean, Ray J is plugged in. He's connected to a lot of people. So yeah, I'm sure he. And then you know, what I'm saying for the documentary, he probably knows people that he met like through Love and Hip Hop and shit like that. So I'm sure he has the right. I, I don't think Suge would just say, "Hey, Ray J." I want you of all people to just do this shit. I think he probably seen something in him. He knew what his connections was. Well, I hope we get a dope Death Row documentary from it. Yeah, yeah dog. I really I, need them to touch on I it. need Death Row to be what Wu-Tang. Yeah. I need them to really touch on the point where um, Bow Wow was in. <laughs> Death Row. I really need them to <laughs> expound on that shit. That shit is still funny. Yo, I remember the nigga put his picture in like the when he photoshopped himself into that picture, nigga. I was crying. <laughs> I'm gonna put that shit Please up. Please put that picture. I was <laughs> put that, crying. I'm gonna put that shit up too, cause ain't no fucking. Like, nigga, I've seen this picture a million times <laughs> in my life. This nigga was never in this picture. <laughs> that shit is hilarious. But yeah, I hope we get some dope shit from it. That is again, it's fucking Ray J. So it's yeah, but that's what I like. How Wu Tang is doing that shit, rather the documentary or the. The movie that they did, I think N.W.A. should have did that. I'm behind on that Wu Tang series. I just caught up with everything, so now now I'm mad because I don't watch the whole shit. That shit good. Since we talking about series, and by the time this shit drops, Power this week, it was a lot in that fucking episode, man. That shit, a lot of Takashi shit going on. Yo, like literally told, everybody snitched on each other. Told on everybody. Dre snitching on everybody. It's Ghost bunch, snitched on Tasha. Rats. How you snitch on your own wife, nigga? Like, not only did he snitch, that nigga sent the feds to her motherfucking daycare. Top, yo. He's a bitch for that. That's bitch behavior. Then motherfucking, um, she told the feds that he killed the homie. Yep. She told him where to find the body. Yeah, but that shit was like a year ago. How the fuck is that body still in that trunk? Not decomposed. I don't think it was it wasn't that long ago. You know what? I don't know it how was, they how it was on powers. The season, yeah, it was last season, so it's yeah. Like, yeah but, but. That's what I'm saying. I don't know how powers timeline works. This is also true. <laughs> they never yeah. specify like how much time goes by with certain shit. So I don't know if it's like day to day. Dre said the feds at the warehouse. Tommy too. Tommy whole team got knocked up. They think he snitched. They and think then. Tommy snitching. Tommy killed Benny. Why the fuck would Benny come at Tommy with a knife, though? That was dumb as a motherfucker. Like, of you all are, people... You, you already gonna... know what type of time it is with Tommy, fam. <laughs> Did you see how he killed your cousin? I know you seen the fucking house. I know you saw it. And you tried to stab this nigga? That was stupid. Like, yeah, you gonna... So you deserve to die for that. With a shit. fucking knife? Like, what? that's what you get. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight. No. That's what I'm saying. 
Hell no. Um. Yeah, that shit was just wild. Then Tommy told the I can't think of the the much the kind. The, oh, Jason. Yeah, Jason. He that told ghost him. Was about yeah. to kill him. The ghost still ended up killing the nigga. That little shit Jason pulled from his watch with the string to choke the nigga. Oh, I need that shit. That shit fire. Yeah. I mean, I don't know why he, he just let it go though. Yeah. Like you know, this nigga's trying to take you out. You gonna let that shit go? I just took the watch off. Yeah. <laughs> So, but he was gonna choke the shit out of Ghost with that shit. Too. He was crazy. He tried. Yeah, this is a wild ass episode, man. There's a lot happening. Yeah, I don't like it though because you can tell that they're trying to wrap shit up real quick before the season ends. And we got five more episodes after this break, so why the fuck are they rushing? Is it five? I thought it was only two. No, they said so. I guess we get one last episode, mm-hmm. and then you know they a mid season. Finale. Yeah, that's what this was. And then we're going to get five more uh, episodes in like January or February or some shit. Let's see how that shit go. But you can tell, like I said, you can tell that they're rushing, trying to get people out the way. Hell yeah. Oh, and then Tariq got some nuts about himself. Yeah, little nigga feeling himself. I still don't, I still don't respect the threat when a nigga say murder in it. <laughs> I'll murder like, you. I will murder you. Like my nigga, shut the fuck yeah. up. <laughs> I'll murder you myself. Like yo, no, you won't. Yeah. Like any, no real killer says murder yeah. in, in a threat. Like, but then again, he's a fucking. He's a new. Kill, he's, he's a, a privileged. Yeah, he's a privileged yeah. ass he's a kid. He's not used to no street shit, so he's used to talking like that. Murder, I'll murder you. I just want to know who's going to survive it then. What's going to be the outcome? It's going to be hard for Ghost to beat that body. Especially with them planting this shit in this, in this hotel room. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's going to be Set hard for them to shit. beat that shit. We'll see. We'll see. And then somebody got to pay for Lakeisha's body, too. Yeah. So I don't know if... Uh, if they gonna fingerprint Tommy Crib, because Tasha was touching everything in that motherfucker. Or if, um, I don't know, man, shit gonna hit the fan. I think that nigga that Tasha fucking with is the feds, though. Oh. Um, nah, nah, he just wants some ass. And she gonna give it to him, because that's nigga, what she who, do. Who the fuck don't she give ass to? She was giving ass out in the Biggie movie, too. She just be fucking. Yeah. She just. Shout out to the women that be fucking. She loves to fuck. Uh, That's their favorite thing, dog. Yeah, Eating, women. drinking, fucking, sucking. You heard Scarface? Oh, I was gonna say you sound like real massager. <laughs> no, I'm fucking. <laughs> no, that's, nah, that's, yeah, that's that was definitely from, gonna get. That was from Scarface. That's definitely gonna get us talked about. I gotta put this <laughs> yeah. on the bottom. These views do not. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to put the accent on this shit, but yeah. That was the same. That was to say good night to the bad guy. That yeah. was that scene. I remember. No, but that's all I got, man. I ain't, like I said, I ain't really see too much this week. Yeah, Tasha must got some snap. Oh, I believe that. I believe that's so she was in three LW. We was the same age around this, so I was able to look at her like. that. <laughs> Niggas got a total. Yeah, like, <laughs> nigga, you were looking at three LW, bitch. Boy. I was around the same fucking age, like. <laughs> That shit do sound weird. To, feel weird to say though. Like, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, bro. When we was young, I used to love Raven Simone. I did though. Now I'm saying like I did like like I when you say that, you like yo when she was on the Cosby Show, but you know she was a kid. Yeah, she was a kid. Yeah, too, I was so a kid nigga, too. Like, like yo, what? <laughs> like my nigga, she's like a year older than me, bro. That's not wrong. I really love Raven Simone until she spazzed out. Like, yeah. I was like 25 when I stopped liking her. She just stopped being cute for, out of nowhere too. I still like Kyla Pratt too. That's my baby. And I like Zaria from the Parenthood. Yeah, she was fire. She was always bad. What's her name? Reagan Gomez Preston? Yes. Yeah, she's definitely fire. Yes, Lord. Definitely fire. Uh, Suck her fucking toes. I'm not doing that anyway. That <laughs> Tongue in her butt wild and crazy. <laughs> as Fat Trail would say. <laughs> free Fat Trail. Yeah, free, free Fat Trail, man. Need to be home soon. Leash. Um... Yeah, ain't shit else, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ain't shit else going on. 
Any closing thoughts? Rihanna, I love you. Hi, Rihanna. Man, did you see her sitting courtside at the Lakers game? That's what, that's what made me think Rhea of that is shit. so fucking fire. I don't even understand it. If she don't even do nothing special. She just... She just, just, she just Rihanna, just bro. It's there. just yeah. like a fucking mythical creature. I know LeBron fucked her. <laughs> LeBron got Rihanna and Beyonce as bodies. So he's, he is... Yeah, niggas is not... The way she used to stare at LeBron... Oh, yeah, LeBron fucked, yeah, LeBron <laughs> fucked Beyonce a few times. <laughs> The way she used to stare at that nigga's <laughs> court side, she, she was staring at him like the shorty was staring at Steph in that picture. Yeah. She looking at LeBron like, how the fuck can I get rid of Jay tonight? <laughs> Jay, you ain't got to fly out tonight. No way. <laughs> I got to fly out. I got to fly out. I forgot I got a show. I know Rihanna got some pop. She had niggas in the club like fighting over her. That's how that whole Drake, Chris Brown shit started. Yeah, yeah. Meek was part of that too. <laughs> this is but he's, he he got to ease the fuck out of the <laughs> <laughs> out of the scenario. Nah, I ain't really supposed to be here. Be then she so. went on Oprah, did the little cry. I, that's her thing. So she just goes on Oprah and cries. And so I, her and Chris Brown, they, they must got the same publicist. The only difference is he goes on the award show. And the, he get his tears man, out. That Michael Jackson shit he did was <laughs> that nigga had half the crowd crying with him. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga nigga really believe he was life. he was changed. I fuck with Breezy though, man. Oh, of course. I just like yeah, it. You know what I mean? I, I I really fucks with Breezy. I hope they start cutting my nigga some slack. Just let him live his life. His manager was like, "Look, nigga, your life is on the line tonight. <laughs> you got to perform." <laughs> yeah, just let that nigga live his life, man. I mean, who musically right now? Nobody's fucking with that nigga anyway. He drops way too much music from years recently. And he does it consecutively, though. Like, my nigga, when you drop a 75-track album... Let that shit sit for three years. You can let that years. shit sit... Yeah, exactly. For like, three, please let that shit sit for three years. You know what I'm saying? But he does this shit, like, every three months. Like, no, who the fuck is recording? How do you find that kind of time to record? Fuck all that, though. But yeah. Rihanna, I know she got about. Like, I feel like Rihanna pussy so good. Like, in your head, you'll be singing... I need to make a song to yourself. I'm going to have to, because if not, I'm going to shoot off kind of quick. <laughs> you got to get through the first one. I'm sorry, the first one coming quick. So you can go right back around for round two, but uh, Rihanna, <laughs> this first one is coming quick. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, I really feel like you just, like, as soon as you, you bring me joy. <laughs> You're an idiot. Yeah. But, yeah, positive thoughts for the week. <clears throat> oh, man. Stuck on Rihanna. Um, we all stuck on Rihanna. Man, everybody got a fucking preference. I'm just stuck on this Twitter shit. This shit pissed me yeah, off. Nah, it didn't piss me off. Peace. I was definitely sitting here having fun laughing. Speak your peace. Cracking jokes at people, man. A lot of people <laughs> had a fucking preference, man. It's life. It ain't, everything ain't for everybody. And it ain't supposed to be. And if you have to accept whoever hollers at you because you ain't got that kind of self-confidence or you were just physically not attractive then. I mean, hey, that's your preference. Yeah. Don't force your shit on other people, though. I mean, that's the whole point of a preference being a preference. This is what you prefer. Yeah. So it's not like you saying, like, yo, every chick has to be yeah. little up the top. Gr- the girls that I've messed with, they have different body types where my mentions like, why yeah. are these bitches so mad? Like, I don't get it. So. But I think what it is is they've probably felt attacked. It was just like, yo, I don't, I don't, I don't fit this. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't fit this. Uh, tuck, tuck your insecurities away. This, this, what they probably feel like is a stereotype. Tuck your insecurities. Yeah, away. Yeah, I don't fit this body type, so I don't, uh, I don't approve of this nigga saying this because this ain't what I look like. You know what I'm saying? A lot of that happens. I told this girl she wasn't worthy for my child's mother to piss on. <laughs> like, because she was. <laughs> I mean. You can't talk. You're not going to talk shit to me about attractive women that I know the type of women that I deal with. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, this shit's not going to work for me. It's I mean, right. dog, I'm I'm a light-skinned nigga, bro. So, I know, like, you, nigga ain't got to talk to me about preferences. I'm I'm not, like, nine out of ten women's preference until they get to know me. Nobody like light-skinned niggas. Yeah, y'all definitely been. On social style. media. On social media. Yeah. Because then you get random and it's like, oh, yeah, I, I don't really fuck with light skin niggas, but. But. You different. 
or you this or you that. Like, bitch, no, I'm not. Yeah. You just you just putting on that motherfucking facade for the for the fucking social media, but we know how you really feel. Yeah. So a lot of people have preferences, man. Yeah. Go with yours, live your life. That's all I got. Yeah. I mean my my positive thought for the week is stop waiting. Go get it. Stop procrastinating. Most people don't succeed because they bullshit a lot. Yeah. You and got- it's like people people whine and complain about support, 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 support. And yeah, support is important, but like when it's business related and shit, like why are you catering your business to your family and friends anyway? Shouldn't. You can never do that. Like, I'm sure when motherfucking the owner of any fast food restaurant, because that's just easy to identify with, resonate with, none of them was like, yeah, I'm going to open this shit up for my fucking cousins to come eat at. Nah, they opened that shit up to get consumers and to get people in there. So stop waiting on support and stop fucking blaming other people for you not succeeding. Like, you, we literally live in a time where... We have every resource you could ever need at your fingertips. This is facts. Like, there's nothing that you can't find out on this shit. Just right from here. your phone. That's what I'm saying. Just from your phone. You're right. Like, yo, you want to start a YouTube channel? Your phone has a... These shits have better fucking cameras than some cameras. You know what I'm saying? Wild. You have everything that you need up there. You got motherfucking... You can get the whole Microsoft Office. It's... Like, you have literally every resource that you could ever need to research everything that you need to do, want to do. Most people' problem is they don't fucking go get it. And when you when you wait, you got an idea in your head. Do you see another motherfucker come up with your idea and they do that shit and it's just successful? It has happened that to shit me more than you once. Off. Yeah, it's happened to me too. So it's, it's happened to me more than once. You got and if it. and if you don't plan on doing it, tell somebody. Yeah, so I, I mean, you ain't gonna do it. Yeah. Don't let the idea die. So most people need to just get people. up and go get it and stop bullshit and stop making excuses and actually. Put shit into motion. That's the reason why a lot of people lack. That's why they fail. Good message. Yeah. That's a man. That, of course, it's a good message, nigga. It's me that said it. Nah, you usually be on your bullshit. Bro, like light skin bullshit. And I'm out here motivating motherfuckers and to, to, and flowers to, to win and in life. Shit you be doing. I'm out here motivating people to win in life. What are you doing? Um, uh, talking shit to people, man. Like, I, I talk shit to people to make sure that they open their minds up. I say a lot of ignorant shit, but it's usually a message behind it. No, it's not. It is. It is. There's always a method to the madness. I just give it to you in an ignorant fashion to open your mind up. Because if I tell you in a regular way, you're not going to listen to me. It depends. No, it doesn't. It depends. And the people are hard-headed, man. So. I don't know. All I know is I miss the motivation. I'm out here motivating these people to do better in life, to be everything that they could ever possibly want to be. Let's end this bullshit. We're going to uh, <laughs> catch y'all the next episode so you can stop telling y'all these lies. <laughs> Till next time. <laughs> <laughs>